Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am working on day 11 of the January creative prompts. Again, if you are new to this, do check out in the description box below the event that's happening inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, the weekly seven posts or seven prompts are posted in that group and in that event so that you can take yours and upload it and share it with everybody your take on that prompt do know that you can check that more for the products that i use as well as my social uh, social media connectors too so hopefully if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends comment if you have any comments or questions and lastly if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i go live on mondays 3 45 p.m central standard time and on thursdays at 12 30 p.m central standard time so robin fantasy is one of my administrators in the friendly junk journal people facebook group and we've become friends and i'm so blessed to have her in my life we had several people that wanted prompts so she wrote up a bunch of prompts and I'm executing those prompts to inspire you to create and write in your journals daily today's January 11 as I said find one of your favorite quotes let that be your inspiration for creating today's journal page write about something or someone that inspires you so here is my journal page that I have this time it looks like it is a notebook paper from one of those composition notebooks that I've trimmed down to fit. And I've got a few supplies out here. The quote that I found was, flowers don't worry about how they're going to bloom. They just open up and turn toward the light and that makes them beautiful. And that's from Jim Carrey. A good source for quotes online is called Quote Garden. I have been using them for years and years and years. I like that they show different quotes by category and I'll go in there and grab those. And that's what you'll see when the, the share daily on my Facebook page on Linda Israel dot, uh, Facebook, Linda Israel. I had to get the name out. So anyhow, I've already printed this and cut it down and then I happen to have a red scrap of paper. I've already gone around the edges with some distress inks and then yesterday I had cut out an extra image and it just fell that when I was looking at the prompt I would use this one. So I'm thinking that this can go up here. I've got a paper doily and I thought that might look kind of pretty here and then this could be layered on top but I think I want to change the color of this doily so what I'm going to do is get out my box that I like to spray in and let's spray it. I've got the Radiant Red Tattered Angels from my Radiant Red creative box. It's the same as the cover journal that I made that is using those digital images from Radiant Red. Well I have a few kits left which includes a Tattered Angels and a Radiant Red. So I'm just going to spray this. Hopefully my my sprayer is not clogged. It's been sitting for a while. Oh, I like that. So I'm just going to spray it and then I'm going to use my heat tool to dry it. All right, I think I like that. So that's how it's going to layer up there. And I think I have another idea that I want to try as well. I got out a stencil because I thought it might look kind of pretty to add a little bit of stenciling design to my notebook paper. This paper is really thin, so I didn't want to spray it with Tattered Angels because it has a tendency to bleed through to the other side. I'm just grabbing another sheet of paper here because I don't want to end up getting my other page dirty. All right, so I'm just going to lay this over my page. And I'm going to grab some fired brick Distress Ink. And I've got one of these oval blending brushes. I found these on Amazon, and I have a link in the description box if you're looking for some of these that are relatively inexpensive. That's what I like about them. So I'm just going to go around the edge here, just checking it. Yeah, that's starting to look good. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'll move my papers out of the way. I'll clean my stencil up later. Okay, I like the way that looks. And I think I want to just layer this up. So I'm going to put this here. So I'm going to glue that one down. You could make this into a pocket. You know, if you're 
making a junk journal from scratch that you want to be able to add some tags or journal cards to, you could place this to be a pocket. But I know when I'm done with this page, I'm done, so I'm not going to need an additional journaling card. I think I'm going to lay this right about here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the back side of this, just little dots. Because if you put too much glue, it'll push up through the openings in this little doily, and I don't want a big gluey mess. I'll go ahead and glue these two pieces together, and then we'll glue that right on top. And lastly, I've got the flowering branch here, and I think I want to use that on my page. I'm going to grab a scrap of paper again, and I've got the jet black. I think I'm going to stamp this coming down the edge here, maybe kind of off the edge up at the top, and then I'm going to stamp over here on this side. Just adds another little decorative touch, touch there. All right, so the prompt was to write about something or someone that inspires you. So let me do that and I'll come back and tell you all about it. And if y'all didn't know, I'm using the Sharpie No Bleed pen. And if you notice, you can barely see it. Even as thin as this paper is, you can barely see it on the other side. And that's why I like this Sharpie No Bleed pen. All right, so what I wrote about today was use a quote, then write about someone that inspires you. My mother's love of flowers inspires me. Because of her, I now have a beautiful garden to enjoy. While I enjoy the garden, I think about her. Miss you, Mom. So I miss my mother. She was living with me for about a, almost two years, I think it was, starting back in 2008, I believe it was. And my backyard was just a blank canvas. And she helped me get it started into a garden. And it is just lovely and beautiful. Of course, we're in winter right now, but I look so forward to the spring when things start to bloom. And I'm so blessed that she inspired me to go ahead and garden and enjoy that. Because now when I go out there, I get to sit and contemplate and, and think about and remember her. I'm going to tear up. <laughs> My mother passed away just a couple years ago. So, you know, you never know how much you love your mother until she's gone. So if you still have your mom, give her a hug, tell her you love her, and go see her and talk to her as often as you can. All right, everybody. That is today's prompt. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, to be a part of this. Again, We'd love to see your daily prompts, what you come up with once you watch or you read the prompt. Share it in the group, share it in that Facebook event, and hopefully inspire others. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.